Hello everyone, you know, today I will be showing you how to use unit booting, a method which is used to let you reprogram a computer via thumb drive as a bootable device, turn your thumb drive into a bootable device instead of using a CD or a DVD. First, we go to start. Well, not necessarily start, but locate the software unit booting. You can get it at Google. Just search for it. Uh, let me locate my file. Okay, here's my unit booting software for Windows. And if you cannot find the file, I will show you, I will put a description, put the link in the description so you may find or locate the software. As you can see, you have two options here. You have distribution, which selects the operating system you want to install. Right. And down here you have this image. I'm going to show you how to use this image. So basically you select ISO, not floppy ISO. You browse for your for your ISO file which you want to boot from your thumb drive. It doesn't have to be an operating system, it can be backtrack or any other OS that is bootable. Right? Then you select which drive you want to install from, whether your USB drive, hard disk drive, and just go ahead and select it. And they will ask you which which thumb drive or which location would you want the file to be installed on. So basically, if you don't know where to, where to find the drive, you can always after you plug in your thumb drive. You can always go to my computer and see the different locations here. As you can see, this is C drive, D drive, E drive, F drive, C, G drive. Now I'm going to insert my thumb drive now. Yes, here's my thumb drive. Before installing the software, which you want to install on your thumb drive you have to first format your thumb drive so you right click click proper no go and click format yes after clicking format you just click quick format and start go ahead and click ok alright format is a complete so you finish and click ok and close it as you can see the location of this drive is I right so what you do is close this go back to the file and look for I if you don't see I close unit booting and then we open it yes And then go ahead and select I. For an operating system such as Ubuntu, you can give Ubuntu space that just in case you want to try try Ubuntu instead of installing Ubuntu, you can have space to save your information. So you can put this to at least two gigs of memory. Depends on the size of the thumb drive you're using. I'm using a 4D. Then you browse for your ISO file. I have multiple ISO files, which is operating systems. And the one that I am going to install is Ubuntu. Right? You can use Windows 7, Windows 8, Windows XP, and many more. But 
I'm just going to use Ubuntu. Select Ubuntu. I want to give it two gigs of memory, and then you go ahead and click OK. And then now, as you see here, the file will start to burn, like not burn, but write to the. It will write to the thumb drive. And as you can see, my virus protection is detecting the auto run file, right? So what you do here, you will have to turn off your antivirus to allow it to burn to the, the thumb drive. So I will locate my antivirus and switch it off. Well, don't forget to turn back on your antivirus before, after, well, after installing this. This might take a while, so I'll go ahead and pause. So, as you can see here, so here is just about to finish so just come to the uh, here it is it is finished it asks you to reboot now basically why it asks you to reboot is because if you want to boot from the thumb drive right so it's like after rebooting select the, the USB boot option in the bias boot menu reboot now right so when you restart your computer, you will you will go to the BIOS menu. Is that is either you press F9, depends on which laptop or computer you're using. F, but the most usable keys are like F9, F12, F2, or Escape, right? So if none of those work, just ask a professional or just ask me. And I'll show you a video how to do it. So, or you could you could just tell me the type of laptop or computer you're using, and I'll direct you in how to boot from that thumb drive. So you won't need to reboot now if you're not going to install it on this computer. This required and quick exit. Yes. So basically. Your thumb drive is now bootable, you can eject it and then plug it in back and then after it after it has been read you can now click on the thumb drive and you will see a bootable form for Ubuntu as you can see here. So now you can do from your boot of a thumb drive. Thanks for watching my video and please subscribe down at the bottom there and remember the link to this download will be in the description. So please like my video and subscribe. And if you have any questions about any software, I'll be glad to help.